Islam is for Arabs or Eastern countries. Oh my God. Who, who thinks that? People that know zero about it. Like before I knew anything, that's what I, I didn't even know you could convert to Islam before I learned about it. Really? So, yeah. Oh, for frick's sakes. Oh, it's okay. Um, okay, Marco, maybe it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Deborah, if you have to go take care of things, you can go. I could do this. Don't worry about it. Um, Islam is for Arabs and Eastern countries. Who who genuinely thinks that? Like, come on. I mean, like, I mean, I hang out with dumb people, and even they don't think that. Like, don't they see, like, most, don't they know Islam, like Christianity, tries to convert people to their religion? Like, isn't that, like, how could conversion be possible? Like, people know. People know that people convert to Islam. And if you can convert to Islam, then you obviously know that it's not just for Arabs and Eastern countries. Like, is that something that people don't think, don't know? Am I am I really naive to think that there this is not a common misconception? Let me see what you guys are saying in the live chat. Ronald saying, with that in mind, how can we address the bad things of Islam to good Muslims? Okay, that's a different video. Okay, I do that all. The, yeah, um, but yeah, but maybe. God damn it, Ronald, that's a whole other live stream, okay? Let's focus on this video. Toro saying, LOL, if the Omayyads had their way, Spain would be Muslim country today. Yes. Well, no, not really. All of the planet would have been. Um, Katie is saying, exceptions like herself think that. It seems she's basically addressing just a misconception. <laughs> she had, yes, this is all projection. She was like a huge dummy about all of this. She's like, oh my God, I used to not know. I used to think Islam is just for Arabs. I'm British. Everybody must have think that this is a common misconception just because I was dumb enough to believe this. This must be a common misconception. Let me address that. Oh my, yeah, you're right. You're right. She thinks these are common misconceptions because she was, God, and this, she's, did she say that she believed these things like 10 months ago? So she went in 10 months, she went from thinking the word Islam and Muslim are like interchangeably can be used and Islam is just for Arabs and Eastern countries. And she went from that 10 months ago to all of a sudden becoming a Muslim who thinks she's a practicing Muslim while not wearing the hijab. Yeah, this is not going to end well. I don't know. God damn it. Is she going to become like a... I don't know, Hindu, 10 months from now or something? This lady like this lady is like trying out religions like it's like a fashion item. Hussein is saying, it's hard to say some people have no idea what Islam is and uh, think Sikhism is Hinduism, just weird Eastern stuff. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay, I mean, people are this, uh, people are this dumb to think Islam is for Arabs and Eastern countries only. Um, but you cannot think that this is a common misconception. Maybe I just have too much to... And it is not for white Western people like me. Oh, it's the... Oh, lady, it's mostly... Okay, this is the number one thing Muslim men jack off to, okay? Converting a white woman to Islam and then marrying her, okay? Like... Half of your audience, half of your audience are Muslim men watching this video and then just jacking off thinking that you're one of their wives. Okay? They're just like watching it. You have no idea. Okay? That's half of your audience right there. Muslim men fantasizing about, oh my God, this white Muslim convert. This is what they dream about. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Maybe if she knew more, she would have converted. She wouldn't have converted. Yeah, probably. Deborah, are you okay? Sorry. It's okay. Do I'm you need to go? Stay. Yeah, I won't stay too much longer just because my son is okay. now needing It's okay. Me I don't but, want um, you to feel bad, yeah. though. So I had this same misconception. I used to tell all of my Muslim friends that would surround me and be all excited about me converting. I would say, wow, I didn't even know you like white people could convert to this. Like it was that ignorant. Like I had no okay. clue. 
So you're here to confirm that Hermes cons that I was I was gonna tell come here and say no, the people are not this ignorant, and you're actually yeah. here to confirm that she's I'm not confirming wrong. Confirming her to me, that's like old school because that was 12 years ago or 14 years ago for me. But I mean, she, she gets married to some dude like I did. Things will change. <laughs> she won't be all excited like that anymore. Oh, so by the way, you are a white woman who converted to islam were you like in hot demand in the muslim world like muslim you know white muslim convert yeah like when the first <laughs> uh, the first mosque that i went to pray to the sister that i was with was like okay so just so you know you're gonna have a bunch of people asking you if you're married i'm like why we're like because you're white and everybody wants you to marry their son <laughs> so, <laughs> it was so, so true i didn't realize that i was so like I didn't Maybe know. that's that. Plus, I'm like wearing hijab and stuff. I'm thinking yeah. now I'm invisible, like no one's gonna see me. Mm. But it was like a totally different thing for me. Okay, so if you're a white woman and you fantasize about hundreds of thousands of men fantasizing over you, then consider Islam, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's I so mean weird. Like you don't. You would think the opposite. Like why that why you're because you you're now covering yourself up and becoming like invisible almost like you're becoming like the virgin mary in christianity where right. you're just a religious symbol like a nun and so you're not like sought after so that's how i saw it so i was right. so shocked when like i'd have like arab guys winking at me and i'm wearing all black abaya and hijab and stuff i'd be like what is happening here <laughs> it's like so bizarre Oh my god, this whole this whole conversation was worth you coming up. Um but yeah, I would you know what? I wouldn't even be mad actually. This is the only conversion to Islam that I approve of, okay? If this is your if you're a white woman and your kink is having a lot of a lot of men just like dying i mean actually technically any woman can do that never mind no but if you're like want to be like as the center of attention for a lot of men that just dying to get your hand in marriage and that's your kink that's the only version of conversion in islam that i'm not going to be mad about like if that's someone's kink okay and at like, the end i used to tell new converts that i would meet <laughs> i'd be like look you can go to the mosque and any guy that you're interested in they're all fair game even if they're married so it was oh, like, wow. you know, you I <laughs> it's true because you they can marry a second or third. So it was like you have, you know. Okay, no Katie is trying to defend this lady. She's like, let me try to defend her. She didn't put the word common in the title of her video, so it's not common misconception. Okay. Okay, fair point, but I mean, I'm gonna make a video and make saying 10, 10 misconceptions about atheism okay and the first one is going to be like atheists enjoy painting walls <laughs> non-stop that's a misconception and it's not true second misconception about atheists atheists hate tv shows they no don't you watch just have TV. to think of what the most religious person sees atheists as and no 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 like she's like katie is saying that this lady is not talking about common misconceptions so technically her videos are is not in wrong right okay. like okay fine but it's not but it's, a, it's it's if not a very helpful video if you're not addressing the common misconceptions okay because i'm pretty i, I okay I'm, I'm not even exaggerating okay there was one guy said that atheists what atheists enjoy watching grass grow okay they watch they have no purpose in life and all they do is they watch grass grow okay and they count grass okay so i can make a video saying misconceptions about atheists number one atheists do not watch grass grow okay i mean would that be a helpful video i don't know okay so need <laughs> i am gonna make one do that with misconceptions like atheists. No, but that's a common one. Atheists eating babies. That's like a popular one. Don't forget about our Lord Satan while addressing misconceptions. No, again, that's you guys are see, you guys are not getting my point. Atheists worshiping babies, as dumb as that is, and no worshiping babies, no, worshiping Satan. <laughs> that's what that's what it should be. We don't worship babies, okay? Yeah. No, atheists worshiping Satan, that is not like a 
uncommon misconception. That's actually would make sense. <laughs> we we smell grass grow. Okay, I don't know what's go. happening. All right. That is not true. Yes, Islam started in Arabia. It started in the Middle World, and then the Middle World. Wait, is that like in Lord of the Rings? Yeah, Earth. <laughs> Earth. <laughs> the Middle World. Is Middle World a thing? Middle World, a term coined evolution. Oh, right, Richard Dawkins. Okay, I've never heard of. I thought she's talking about Middle Earth. <laughs> Middle World. She's okay then it spread and it did happen to spread to obviously those other Middle Eastern countries, Northern Africa. Um, it did also make its way to Eastern countries like Malaysia and Indonesia. Indonesia has the most Muslims um, per country in the world. Oh, okay. I'm reading a really good book right now and it's talking about the history of Islam and I think a lot of people think people don't realize is that um, Spain has a huge Islamic history in there as well so Islam did kind of does anybody not know that maybe I'm just maybe I'm just ignorant of people's ignorance do people yeah. are there a lot of people who don't know that Spain has yeah. like a huge history of Islam yeah is that it okay people are that dumb I'm okay. sorry uh, <laughs> thank you for con confirming this. Uh, Ed is saying, I didn't know in Europe it's very fringe, I think, but you have to, but you do have less atheists in America. Yes, we do. Come to Europe. The point that I'm trying to get. I'm glad that you're here, Deborah, to tell me how dumb people are. To is that it is not just an Arab religion, it is not just an Eastern religion, an Asian religion, an African religion. Anyone can be Muslim. That's why I became a Muslim. And I think I mean that's the main problem with Islam. Okay, it's a the you know we know this is why we have a problem with it. It wouldn't be as toxic and dangerous if it was just like this is why eth ethnic bigotry. You know this is why the the Yahtzees from Germany their ideology it's didn't. <laughs> <laughs> their ideas didn't spread as wide because they were like not very it was you couldn't convert to being a yahtzee it's quite confusing for like maybe my family thought it was confusing when i said i'm a muslim because it's a very foreign religion to a lot of people in western countries and that's just that that's just the case it is but that does not mean that we cannot be muslims another point on this is that not all arabs are even muslim there are arab okay deborah do people think all Arabs are Muslims? Is that a common misconception? I don't know. I don't know that anymore. Could be honestly, my like when I converted, my brothers were all mad and called every Muslim like Paki. Sorry for the. Story. But that's not okay. But, but that's not, that, that's another one saying thinking they're all Pakistani. So okay, like but a, Pakistanis are not Arabs, so that disproves her point. I know, but it's the same idea though. I mean, isn't the she's in the UK? Wouldn't a more common misconception in the UK be that Muslims are Pakistanis mostly, not Arabs? I mean, aren't most yeah. Muslims in UK Pakistani? Maybe that's why where that comes from. Yeah, but then why is she saying that yeah. not all Arabs are Muslims? Who thinks all Arabs are Muslims? Do we have people who think all Arabs are Muslims? Is that a big thing? Jose is saying Muslims coming to Spain isn't extremely well known. I mean. Most people in USA don't even know about crusades. Yeah. Jesus, man. I find uh, North America kind of, you know, separated just, you know, geopolitically. In a oh, I actually, actually, th actually thought that all Arabs are Muslims. So what if, like, okay. If Islam doesn't have anything to do with the wrongdoings of Muslim, it doesn't have anything to do with the good work done by Muslims too. As simple as that, according to our logic. Yeah, actually, good point. Christians and there are Arab Jews, so the idea <gasps> that is what the hell did you notice? We didn't get a mention. Did you did you notice it? Did, I'm I'm triggered. Did you hear that? I'm why why are you not? Has anybody out? Is it just me? Am I all, the only snowflake here who gets triggered every time something like this happens? Look at this. 
Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say why I'm triggered. I'm hoping there are other people who get triggered with me as well, okay? Because I, I shouldn't be the only one that is sensitive about this. Listen to this one more time. That's just the case. It is. Listen. But that does not mean that we cannot be Muslims. Go. Another point on this is that not all Arabs are even Muslim. Okay. There are Arab Christians. Mm -hmm. There are Arab Jews. Yes. So the idea that... That's it? I am but I am but hurt. I am but hurt. Do you guys miss? Do you guys see what was missing? Is any I'm I'm the only one. Nobody's saying this. Nobody is upset. Did I hear Arab Jew? No, that's not why I'm but hurt. Arab Jew is a thing. Yeah, Arab Jew is a thing. That's not why I'm but hurt. I am triggered. No. Are you serious, you guys? There we go. Finally. There you go, skeptic. Yes. Yeah, well, atheist is not a religion. So maybe she's just thinking no, about religion. No, she wasn't listing religions. Look, did she say, did she say these are the religions of Arabs? Is she saying? That does not mean that we cannot be Muslims. Another point oh on is that not all Arabs are even Muslim. No, she didn't. She, was, she wasn't listening. There are, this is the, this, we are the fastest growing one. Uh, Arab atheists are the fastest growing. Arab Christians, Arab Christian? there are Arab Jews. I mean, if, imagine talking about Arab Jews, which is not growing at all. In fact, they're so fringe. And then not mentioning the biggest shift in demographics right now, which is us, our people, our people, our people doesn't, don't get a mention. This is, why am I the only one that got triggered by this? You guys, did, you guys don't. Did, does that not make you upset, Deborah? That we like always uh, are left out of this conversation? No, because she doesn't really know much at all. So it's not. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm. I am a snowflake about this. I want representation. <laughs> I want representation. Like I, every time, like we don't get mentioned, even though, like, imagine talking about Arab Jews. Like, how big of a thing is Arab Jews? How big of a thing is that? Arab Jews. How many people are there? Like one and a half person? <laughs> <laughs> Arab Jews as a whole is like less than 3,500. Oh, no, like 30. No, sorry. 30. Yeah. Like, okay, it's just so small. It's like so tiny, Arab Jews. It's like it's not even. And then. Arab atheist. Let's, let's look at that. Arab atheist. Did we get the number? I can't get it. I don't know what the She's number is. Just he... Highlighting religions, Armin. Don't get all. Oh, out. this. I am upset. I refuse to. <laughs> she We're doesn't here. want to promote atheism. She's trying to promote people converting to Islam. Mm. Right? You know, but we're in the millions, okay? Yeah, I know. We're in, like, we're huge, and we're growing fast. Our people are growing fast. With everything else she said, I have accepted that she's dumb, and even people with more sense than her don't mention atheists. Yes, yes, you're right. Torell saying most of them fled to Israel. Uh, where is Hussein? Hussein said something. Hussein saying the sad thing is that if you tell this person the truth of Muhammad, stoning people, killing apostates, and having sex with a nine-year-old, then that's some wild conspiracy. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, yep. she talks about the hadith. Where that's all in the hadith. Know. She hasn't read it. Arabs share 15 to 30 percent of their uh, DNA. I don't know if this is true, so I'm not gonna. Okay. Idea that Islam is just guys. We need to be okay. This is something we need to get butt hurt over. Okay, the fact that we're not like this is not ethnicity or stuff. This is people choosing to leave Islam in most hostile places to apostates and they're not being counted, okay? This is why I'm butthurt, okay? These are people who are leaving Islam in the most hostile places on earth to apostates and they're not being counted. If anybody is going to count them, it should be us. This is justified butthurt. If Arab... Atheists are not considered as a part of the demographic. This is not like ethnicity or religion, like or DNA talk. Okay, this is people choosing to make a decision to go against what is the norm 
because reason over feelings against all odds, they have figured out that this is all nonsense. These people should be counted. It's an Arab. Yeah, so I agree. Religion is also ridiculous because not even all Arabs are Muslim. 